bananas, you'll say peppers. And today, you guys, we are finally unboxing the tiny email. We've been talking about it since probably June of last year. And finally, we're unboxing I think all of it today. If you sent tiny mail and you don't see it here, let me know. Cause there could be a chance that it did get lost in the graveyard girl mail. I was like trying to keep it separate, but we all know organization is not my greatest skill in life. Once I start going through the graveyard girl mail, cause I'm about to do a sassy mail unboxing. If I find any more tiny mail, I will open it in another vlog on this channel. So if you guys remember last year, we did Project Blue Book, where I gave you guys like a theme to like be creative and like send in mail around that theme. So that was the last one we did. In that video, the next prompt that I came up with was tiny mail and just like whatever you guys interpretation of something tiny. So before we dig into this mail, I thought we would go ahead and uh, like reveal the next prompt, which we will do at some point in time, probably a while away from now. But I don't know, I thought that maybe this could be like something fun and artsy and craftsy that if you guys wanted to like just do it now and hold on to it, let me just show you what it is and then it'll make more sense. I thought we should do a banana peppers scrapbook. As I've been scre screen, as I've been screen cleaning, spring cleaning, I found this camo scrapbook. And so it has eight by eight pages in here. Oh my God, it has like these pre-made pages, which are so silly. I obviously just bought it because of the camo exterior. So I thought if you guys were like bored and you just maybe wanted to do something artsy and craftsy that then some months down the road we could look at all together uh, that maybe you guys would want to do that if you're sitting at home and you're bored. So if you want to just cut out like an eight by eight sheet of paper you can tell us about yourself or how you're feeling right now or what you're thinking or about your life or decorate it however you want and then um, I will get them and I will compile them in this book and then we will have a banana peppers flip through of our scrapbook. So if you're gonna make a page, like just please, please, please hold on to it. Just like make it now, but don't mail it. Don't go anywhere that you like absolutely don't have to go. <laughs> but if you wanna make something, an eight by eight page. So I'll remind you guys like sometime down the line, like I'm saying it'll probably be like a couple months from now. So there is that, but I'm excited to dig into this. So let's open this envelope. Right in the front, it says tiny mail. Oh my gosh, and I love the jack-o'-lantern sticker. So this comes from Deanna and Summer. We shall slice it open. Ooh, oh my gosh, what are these? These are so cute. Okay, so we have a cute little letter in here. I do, of course, love all the jack-o'-lantern stickers. I'm trying to not tear them because I will so put them in my junk journal. So let me read. Oh my gosh, look, there's like magical stickers. Halloween stickers. Oh my gosh, look at these funny jack-o'-lanterns. Oh my God, these come from Oriental Trading. That's where I get so much of my Halloween treat bag stuff. So that is so fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, I would have never known that. Okay, so a million years ago, I did a Does This Thing Really Work on that toy item called Hatchimals. Do you guys remember that? It was like that weird bird creature that emerges from an egg you had to like hatch it well that whole what would we call it franchise i guess ended up getting so much bigger and so much more popular than even like the hatching hatchimals so these little guys come in like smaller blind bag eggs and they're all these little creatures oh my god i'm gonna give this to my mom she loves crabs so it's like a cute little hermit crab we have Oh, is this a rhino? At first I thought it was a little monkey, but it has a horn. I don't think monkeys have horns. This literally looks like a griffin because it has a dragon tail and a bird head. This is so cute. Oh my God. Dogman and I are gonna have to like dig through this later and look at all the cute animals. So they say that all of these are from series two, but this is gonna be so much fun to look at because I've literally never opened any of these like this in my life. I think somebody sent me some unhatched ones before in maybe banana peppers mail, but 
I never opened them. I was like hanging on to them to do like an unboxing video with it. And then I just, I didn't, I didn't do it. I don't see a name on the outside, but it says project. Oh, there we go. This comes from Haley in the UK and I'm going to cover your address, but I am going to show off these adorable, like hand drawn accents on the back. We got a little envelope. This is so cute. Okay. Oh my God. Should I sing the sassy mail song? I got the mail, the mail, the sassy mail, the sassy mail. Still can't clap. 10 years later, still can't sing and clap. Okay, I feel like I'm being careful to like cut the top. I couldn't find any of my knives today. So we are using scissors like a sane person might open their mail. And I am excited to see. This is so magical, so magical. I'm gonna cover the letter just in case it says anything private, but look at all of these illustrations and Haley, your handwriting is extra magical. I literally wish that my handwriting looked like this. Oh, okay, here is her Instagram that she wrote on there, just in case you guys want to follow. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my God, as soon as I can like take stuff to get framed, that was like my last mission that I was gonna do right before everything went down. I was gonna get a bunch of my um, Swamp Family artwork framed so I could like hang some new stuff on the walls. But oh my God, I'm so gonna get this framed. This is amazing. And inside <laughs> is a handcrafted sassy mail. It's actually like a pouch that can totally be used and it's made out of felt. I love the stamps. Oh my gosh. And all the colors are like so 90s. I'm trying to like carefully, like this got stuck to the felt. And I'm trying to see what it is. It looks like jewelry, but I'm trying to like so carefully. Oh no. It's probably because Texas is like burning hot. Oh my God. I think it's a little like Pride and Prejudice book ring, but I'm honestly, I'm gonna just leave it in there because I don't wanna tear it. Oh my God, that's so amazing. But it is so cute. It's like all of these little miniature envelopes. They're all tiny and then the ring is a tiny book oh my god wait it's a bunch of literal tiny mail ah oh my god this is beyond adorable i'm literally gonna open all of these and read them all and it's gonna lift my spirits i know this is exactly what i need tonight is a bunch of tiny mail. Look at all of these little envelopes. This is too cute. Look at this little tiny charm. It's a teeny tiny envelope and it actually has teeny tiny mail stuck inside of it. You guys, I'm gonna enjoy reading this so much. Oh, oh my God. I am so excited to show this to Dog Man. It's a teeny tiny Dog Man. This is beyond magical. Look at that. Oh, itty bitty little teeny tiny dog man. This is so cute. So thank you so much to Deanna and Summer for the Hatchimals. And thank you so much to Haley for all this teeny tiny adorableness. Oh my God. I love how it's like literal tiny mail. Okay. Well, the first one was tiny mail too. They're like all the little tiny animals. Amazing. Okay. Tiny mail. This is so cute. Okay, so this comes from Leah in Austria and she wrote it really big, hashtag tiny mail. But then she wrote on the bottom, oh, I mean, hashtag tiny mail, like writing it really tiny. Okay, and then there's like a banana and a pepper on the back of the envelope. And inside we have a teeny tiny little envelope with a little heart on the back. Look at this. Look at this artwork. Oh my God. You guys, I wonder if I could order a frame for this. Can I order a frame for this, this size, so I can frame it now? This is so cute. I wish I looked like this every day. Thank you so much. And then, oh, who is this a picture? Oh my, I think on the back it says Maria. Look at this antique photo. This is so amazing. I really always love to see all the handwriting on the back. And 
I love to see old photos like that from around the world because I feel like the looks are so different. I had somebody send me antique photos from Latvia once and it was like so amazing to see like how different the photography looked. And then this is so cute. So it's another teeny tiny little letter with an itty bitty little stamp on it. And there is a little letter inside. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to read all of this literal teeny tiny mail. Okay, so up next we have a tiny mail envelope from Corey. I can actually tear this one open, I feel. I feel like I'm able to do things. Oh, we have some amazing jewelry in here and some teeny tiny little funnels. Oh my God, we have flies tiny little flies. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for this stuff. They're actually like squishy. Can you guys like tell? Probably. <laughs> can you guys tell they're squishy? Like you can't touch them at all, but can you tell through the screen they're squishy? Um, so we have all these tiny little flies, which I literally feel like I want to just make into like barrettes and stuff. That would be amazing. Tiny funnels. I'm putting this in the craft bin. I feel like this is gonna be very useful to me at some point. And then we have all of this really cool jewelry in this pouch. Like, look at this really pretty bracelet. Oh my God, I just had a flashback from my childhood, but I swear they used to sell like a little beading kit like this at the book fair that would come with all of these like gemstones so it's like purple and green love that very joker-esque and then it has a a jolly roger on it teeny tiny little coin necklace and it's for queen elizabeth the second but i love this it's like a little choker it's a teeny tiny little coin thank you so much this comes from caitlin in Toronto. Ooh, okay. I, I have to like shake every envelope this time because I don't want to miss any of the teeny tiny little magical envelopes that you guys have made. Ooh, oh my God. Okay, so this is so neat. So it's a little magical stone bunny. I feel like I'm gonna put this in my window seal. So it's a tiny little, it's like purpley blue color. And the stone is called Soda Light. Oh my gosh, I love that. So these are all the things it's supposed to promote, which sounds like everything I need. Balance, calming, creativity, focus, productivity, please. Yes, optimism. I need some of that. And then in here, it's a teeny tiny little folded note. Thank you so much, Caitlin. I'm going to put the little bunny back in there so I can read your note later. I usually never read the letters on screen because a lot of times you guys tell me like really private stuff which i don't just like to like read out loud obviously so this comes from i feel like i've seen you guys write before i feel like y'all contributed to project blue book because i i feel like i recognize this name and i feel like i didn't say it right last time and i feel like i probably won't say it right this time so i'm sorry odalise and jackie <gasps> oh this is amazing look at that you guys, I am compelled to hang this in my car. And like, you know, it's like a picture frame. How cool does this look? It's like an antique -y picture frame. Doesn't that like look like it would make a good rear view window car ornament? Or is that just me? It's supposed to be a keychain. That is so neat. Thank y'all so much. I love how like antique -y and magical it looks. So this comes from Carly Ann. So thank you so much for the letter, Carly Ann. I don't wanna read anything, I'm not supposed to, because when I flipped it up, it literally says private off camera. So I'm gonna read everything. There's like a magical little like journal on the inside. So I'm gonna read this later, but thank you so, so much. I'm excited to read it. Okay, up next, it comes, it comes. This letter comes from Megan. And I love how this is like a clear envelope, like a clear window envelope. This is magical. And on the back it says, Tiny Thing Project. And look at the card, it had a cute little red bear on it. And inside there was this teeny tiny little coat hanger. It's like the tiniest coat hanger I've ever seen. I think that I'm gonna like put this, you know what? This would be perfect to go with like clothes for my teeny tiny itty bitty baby. They're like the same size. It refuses to focus. Anyway, uh, I went ahead and 
sliced and diced a lot of the other packages so that we could like open them a lot quicker. So up next is this really awesome package. Oh my gosh, this came from Italy from, I cannot tell the name, but look at all of this magical little um, Easter egg bunny. They look like they're literally from candies. I love the foil wrapper. It looks like each of these are gonna be teeny tiny little objects coming wrapped in these little like foil, not foil, foam. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a tiny cologne bottle. I've never heard of this fragrance. I feel like all you guys can see is 20, but it's Gianfranco Ferre. I'm not, I'm not pronouncing it right. Pretend like I didn't say that. I'm so sorry. It's another bottle of either perfume or cologne. But look at that, it definitely looks very vintage. I've never seen a bottle like this ever. This is gonna look so cool in this room amongst all my other antique old things. Look at all the adorable Totoro stickers. That is so cute. And then we have, look at these little bunny stickers. That is so, so cute too. So let's see who this comes from. Amelia, thank you so, so much. Now that I opened the letter, it's almost like I'm smelling a delicious perfume scent. So I'm definitely going to read your letter later. I love the Totoro stickers. This just says Hill on it. And this comes from around Vegas. But let's see what this is gonna be. I love this paper. It's like a green stripe, like part of it is metallic. It reminds me of like Easter grass for some reason, maybe because it's almost going to be Easter. Oh my gosh, did you hand make this? I hope there's like a letter or something. This is so magical. Like even the zipper is a letter B and then a little um, wing for alligator wings. And a thing that says love, it has an adorable frog prince on the front, a blue eye, red lips, a lipstick. And then on the back, we have rainbows and heart emoji eyes. So it's like a little denim pouch. Look at these like pull tabs too. That is so magical. And then you unzip it and, oh yay, there's a letter inside so I can say thank you. This comes from Hill Five Nest Handmaids. They have an Etsy store and let me see if your name is in here jerry thank you so much so it is a wristlet the mermaid clip i'm so glad you said that in the note this is actually for lip balm it's like a little lip balm pouch that is beyond adorable and it's all handmade thank you so much up next this does not have a name on it but it does say project tiny things i literally literally was just thinking about buying some of these the other day. They're itty bitty tiny little pencils. I wanted to get some of these to make barrettes out of, but you're actually meant to color in these pages. I really do like this uh, lep. Maybe I should like use the pencils first and then make hair barrettes out of them. Okay, let's find out who this comes from. Okay, this comes from Mazzy. Thank you so much. There's still one other little bag to go through. It's actually like handmade wrapping. Let's open this up. Oh my gosh, I have never seen such an adorable assortment of tiny things. So we have all these little miniature books. This is too cute. They're like miniature pails. Do you know what I mean? Like for going to the beach and collecting sand. Tiny playing cards. Look at this itty bitty sewing machine. We have a Raggedy Ann doll and tools. Like there's a little hammer and a screwdriver. This is an itty bitty tiny tea set. And it actually like feels heavy. It feels like weighted like Monopoly pieces. We have a sewing set with little scissors. And these, I was literally about to say a tiny bag of clown noses, but they're just meant to be red pom-poms. And then this is so, oh my gosh. I have never seen something so cute in my life. I'm about to turn this into a necklace at once. It's like tiny, 
body parts. But it's like an itty bitty tiny tooth. It looks so real. And this bone, a tiny little realistic bone. Thank you so, so much. That was adorable. Okay, up next is an envelope from Deanna. And there's a cute little gator, a winged gator drawn on the front. But I feel like I would accidentally show the address. So, oh my gosh. The first thing I pulled out is this cute little bird. Did you make this? This is adorable. I love this. It looks like so like magical 60s homemade. And then it's an alien. What are these beads called? I always wanted to do the melty beads. They always look so fun. And we have a melty bead winged gator. Oh my God, I can actually like hang this. Look at how cute this is. This is totally adorable. Adorable, adorable. And then you have like a hole. I think this is like, oh my God, it's a hood. It's a hood, I can wear it, it's a hat. I finally figured it out. I love it, that is so freaking cute. And it has gator buttons at the top, that is adorable. And then look at this cute painting. It says, howdy, and it's a cute winged gator. Thank you so, so much, Deanna. That is absolutely adorable. Okay, up next, we have a box from Amanda Panda, and it says, hashtag, tiny box so let's oh my look at who we have right on top we got tommy pickles in his jam jams oh he looks so so cute look he's flying be free tommy pickles that's how you know i've gone crazy all right up next we have a frog he's a 90s thai beanie baby frog i feel like this is like a tiny box with 90s flair. Oh my God, we have two. They belong together. Ah, this is so magical. It's like a little miniature Starbucks cup. This is cute. Oh my God, it's like a paperweight. It's like got weighted rocks in it. That is adorable. And we have something to unbox. It's a Lost Kitties. I think I've seen these at Target before. Then we have a Betty Boop tin that is so so cute and the last thing in here is a bee box <laughs> so a little box let's find out what's inside this is so funny <laughs> what is this card this is so hilarious inside look at this it's like a safety pin set but this bottom one has all these like magical metallic skulls on the bottom this is so neat and I see this brand all the time at Joann's, but I've never seen this package of scrapbook stuff before, but this is so cool. Look, it's all these little like cutouts. I think it said there's like 107 little people in here. That is gonna be so magical for my junk journaling experience. Okay, up next, I started slicing this open. This box comes from Melanie. And as I started to tear it open, um, I saw it came in this blowfish box, which I swear is a pair of shoes. This is like a recognizable shoe brand to me. Ooh, some lovely paper. Magical, magical. Oh my gosh, look at how adorable this is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang this like from the ceiling fan. This is so adorably magical. It is a handmade, is this knitted or crocheted? Forgive my stupidity but it's a winged gator and he's actually on like a keychain. but I would never want to carry him out because oh my god if I lost him I would cry so I'm gonna hang him from like the in our bedroom we have a ceiling fan so I'm gonna hang him from the ceiling fan so he can live there forever letters and then oh this is so cute did you make this too plus look at this keychain this is so interesting it's like a claw but this bunny is so fluffy and adorable Oh my gosh, so so soft. And then, oh, whoa, this is definitely like so vintage. Oh my gosh, LaBelle Fashions. I definitely remember, this looks so familiar. I'm like, did I own this? Did I own this at some point? It's like that stretchy 90s fabric. Look at that old hang tag, I love it. But it's like, this is probably like a slightly below the knee length, below the knee length dress. I love it. And then, I thought so. Look at this old Caboodles 
magical vintage. So this is called a mini Manny accessories organizer. And I don't know how strange this is gonna sound, but I might put like my fake fingernails in here. This looks like fake fingernail sized box. Perfect for that. Okay, this box I sliced open back here it comes from Caitlin. I think we already got a tiny mail from you. This looks very familiar. So this might be like part two of tiny mail from Caitlin. This comes from the Etsy shop Dixie Pixie and then they included a letter. I feel like I've drank too much coffee. I'm sorry if my hand is like shaking. That is so cute. This is like perfect for right now. It's like spring. E Street has a little bunny. So it's like a cute little floral arrangement in a pot. I love it. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Okay, so this box came from Kaylee and I opened it upside down. Why did I do that? But look, that is so adorable. Some tiny mail items for Bunny. I love the drawing. And in this box, we have two magical coloring books. We have Lisa Frank and Winnie the Pooh. And that is so cute. Oh my God, it even has like little, oh, look, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is like so old. Oh, I love it. And then we also have a magical letter, which I will save for later. I have not seen one of these in forever. Do you guys remember the sticky slap hands? I'm gonna slap the lens. No, I'm not. I have terrible aim. Slap the lens. Oh, I'll get the hang of it one day. And then I have some cute little creatures in here. That one's literally a gator with wings. That is so perfect. And then we have like a little butterfly, I think. He is so, so cute also. Okay, we also have this magical pink shark finger puppet. <laughs> Look, I could be like, da da, da da. That was the worst Jaws singing that has ever been done ever oh look we have another winged gator and also a cute little handmade bracelet thank you so much kaylee all right you guys our last box which has all this cute tiny mail tiny mail tiny mail written all over it comes from jessica the wrapping paper used is um teenage mutant ninja turtle wrapping paper love that this is like jam crammed with magical worms oh right on top we have worn oh my god seniors class of 2003 and it says what a long strange trip it's been and it's so worn and torn and absolutely magical where is george rogers clark high school did anyone go there Oh, did you go there? Did you go there, Jessica? Baby Eat You Alive, the little baby that kills with kindness. Is this a movie? It's like a magical doll head figure. This is so, what, what is this from? What am I missing out on? Oh my God. What is this, what is this from? I love it. Look at this, a commodity, soap. Soap has been sent to me. Halloween soap, nonetheless. Very curious cat, liquid hand soap. Love it. Do you know who I thought this was? Um. Alex from Clockwork Orange. Doesn't he look like that? But he's like a little little dude getting getting married. And we have tiny little bunny erasers. That is so cute. Oh, we have more of these little tiny, tiny children. Where did you, where did you come from? Aren't these called a Mary Inglebright dolls? Inglebrett, Inglebright. I'm not saying that right. Oh my God, we have blood gloves. Do you need some blood gloves? Fingerless blood gloves, nonetheless. It's like when you want to do fashion murder, I guess. We have something wrapped in paper. You got these at a convention just for me? Thank you so much for thinking for me, for, for thinking of me. But look, it did, we did have clockwork orange in here. They are magical miniature clockwork orange earrings. That is perfect for my life. Look at all of these old buttons. I love it. I love it. This is, what is this? This is a movie I feel like I've missed out on somehow in my life. It's called Surf Ninjas. <laughs> what is this about? That sounds hilarious. We also have um, 97, 98 Thorough Blades Hockey. I almost couldn't remember what this sport is called. I was like the ice, the ice skating sport. We also have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. 
uh, buy tickets by phone, call 777 film. I bought movie tickets wearing only underwear. Oh my gosh, okay, tell a ticket. Now I wanna find out what tell a ticket is. Miracle on 34th Street and Mr. Nanny? I've never seen that either. Oh my God, is that freaking Hulk Hogan? Oh my God, I haven't thought about Hulk Hogan in like a million years. As if I would just be, you know, at home thinking of Hulk Hogan. Uh, okay, we also have this cute little bunny. Is this a little character from something that unfortunately I don't know? Oh my God, we have Fox Mulder X-Files pencils. Look at him thinking about aliens and stuff. Okay, we have to open these. These came from Loot Crate. I feel like I've missed out on the fun and adventure of Loot Crate. It says, that's why I put the I in FBI. Trust no one. I want to believe the truth is out there. That is extremely magical. I feel like I'm never gonna use these and just keep them safely tucked away in my desk drawer, like the priceless memorabilia that they are. I found a gator. Ooh, a gator wearing a necklace. He's a f f fashion boy, a f f fashion boy. We have a Thai holy guacamole. How old is this? Look at this. It's like a Thai animal. It's not a beanie baby. It's a, it's a cute little bun bun. Then we had a couple of these gorgeous chokers. I'm gonna put this in my stash of Halloween stuff because don't these look like they could be like magical vampire costume chokers? And then we had the cutest Tommy Pickles I've ever seen. He's holding a screwdriver. I feel like this is like the Tommy Pickles you would see at a, uh, you know, like in the middle of the night at the end of your hallway. And then it's like, Wee! Tommy Pickles. Um, he's cute though, I love him. I feel like I should start a Tommy Pickles collection because I have like an action figure and then some of those mini figures we opened a long time ago in the blind boxes and then I got two new Tommy Pickles today. But thank you so, so much to all the banana peppers that participated in Tiny Mail. Like I said, if you did not see your package open, let me know and I will go back and like dig through the Swamp Family packages. And so yeah, don't forget if you wanna participate, just an eight by eight sheet of paper, decorate it any way you want and we will do that at a later date but thank you guys so so much for being here today for watching i love you guys so so much and until i see you guys again stay happy stay healthy stay sassy stay banana peppery i love you guys so so much bye